Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'll demonstrate how you can convert an existing static Elementor page into a page that uses advanced custom fields and the add-on advanced elements. In this example we will be converting a price menu into using repeater fields within repeater fields and also using repeating Elementor sections. First, you can see we have our page. I have previously created our advanced custom fields. Let's have a look at them. Here we have our first repeater, which is a repeater that has a title field, an image field, and also the products. The products have a title, description, and price. If we look at our price menu, you can see the price menu has a category, coffee and espresso. It has a background image, and also it has products. And that is also what we have made with our advanced custom fields. And if we take a look at the price menu page, and all the values, you can see I have already entered the advanced custom fields values, the categories and the images and the products. So let's go into Elementor and make our templates. Here we have our Elementor. And we want to save this as a section. That makes everything much easier when we want to convert it. Now let's edit the saved template. Now we want to connect the various parts to the corresponding repeater field subfields. But first we need to configure our preview settings. We need to select the repeater field that we want to use. Remember to apply. Then we need to update again and refresh. We do this so advanced elements can correctly detect the various repeaters. Now let's see if it worked. Let's change the background image first. Go into the section. And let's see if we can select our dynamic tag. Now we should be able to select the field in question. And yes, we can select image. But we also need to configure the backgrounds. Now we have a section that uses the repeater subfield as a background image. Now let's alter the category title. Here we select our repeater field again and we select the title. Next we have our actual price menu and Advanced Elements comes with a price list widget that we will be using. And as you can see, our items subfield is not visible. That means it was not detected correctly. But let's just update and refresh, and it should work fine. Here 
it is now visible. Let's select it. We also need to select the subfields. The color is uh, wrong, so let's change the colors. Let's see what we have. It's just plain white, so let's alter the colors to plain white. But I want the leaders to be a little bit darker. Looks better. Now we have the colors correct. Let's see what values are for the title and so forth. Size 17, weight 500, uppercase. So let's alter them. Let's see on the description. That is not plain white, it seems. So let's alter it as well. Let's see the typography. It should be 16 and 200. That seems correct, but we should make it a little bit tighter, I think. That looks good. Let's change the size of the price. That looks okay, I think. The advanced elements price list does not support column layout so we just have a single column and so we cannot exactly match the two column layout of the previous design but we should remove our sections we also should remove the menu title Let's update. Now let's go back to our menu page and refresh so the correct templates are loaded. First we need to add our new section. And let's add our repeater with template widget. The repeater with template displays a repeater field using the specified templates. You can see we can decide how many columns we should have by changing the width. We want it to be 100%. Then it should be a column. It does not look exactly correct, but uh, let's go into our section and select full width. Now it looks a bit better, but we have our margins to alter as well. Let's see, go into our items. Now we have a tight fit with the categories. We also need to add our menu title. So let's add a new section and copy the menu. Let's 
it's not exactly correct. So let's change the position. As you can see, it is now hidden. So we need to change the C and index value. Now it is on top. I think this looks close enough. So let's take a look at the preview. Oh no, the preview is not visible. But that is due to the advanced custom fields plugin. When you're previewing, it does not load the correct data. So you need to look at the menu as it is. And here we have our new menu page. We have our two categories and we have our products. This is just to compare. So we can remove the old section. And here we have our new menu page where the customer of yours can edit the menu themselves. It's also good to know that you can use option pages also with advanced elements. So if you make a price menu option page, then they don't have to go to the WordPress editor and uh, update the various fields that way but you can get an an option page in the wordpress menu itself instruction for how to add an option page can be found on the advanced custom fields site and their documentation if you have any questions about advanced elements just ask them in the comments below